This is Kim Meyer, host of Choose to Rise. Thanks for listening to the following broadcast on Public House Media. This is Dr. Mariah White, host of Your Life Matters, here on Public House Media. Thanks for listening to the following broadcast on Public House Media. Once you are done with this episode, I hope you'll come check out my show, Your Life Matters, where we talk about dreaming big and dreaming bold to reach your wildest dreams in both your health and your happiness. A new show comes out every single Tuesday. Don't forget to subscribe on iTunes so you'll never miss an episode of Your Life Matters. Thanks again for checking out the following broadcast on Public House Media. Today's verse of the day comes from Galatians 3.28. There is neither Jew nor Gentile nor slave or free, nor is there male or female, for you are all one in Christ Jesus. Good morning and welcome to Verse of the Day, presented by Public House Media. I'm your host, Baxter Colburn. I'm thrilled that you're here for today's episode. A quick reminder for you, Verse of the Day is available for streaming anytime on Apple Podcasts, on Spotify, wherever your favorite podcast podcast platform might be, we are there. Also, a big thank you to Mana Vision Media for syndicating today's episode on Mana FM in Budapest, Hungary. If you've not checked out their station or website, you can do so by going to manafm.hu. I also have one announcement for you. Verse of the Day is going to be on a summer break starting June 1st. Yep, that's right. Even even I take a break from time to time. So uh, I've got a lot of traveling and other commitments coming into my life for the summer. So I want to make sure that I am giving adequate time to Verse of the Day. So uh, we're going to take a summer break so we can reset, recharge, and a reload before we are back again in the fall. With all that being said, let's embrace what God has in store for us today. Our verse today is written by the Apostle Paul, as the book of Galatians is, and as most of the New Testament is as well. Paul does a great job in these verses, specifically Galatians 26 through 29, as he talks about having no division in our faith or who is following Christ. The Jews and Gentiles, to give you a really short history lesson, didn't like each other. They were always bickering, they were fighting, and it was kind of almost a derogatory term to call a friend or anybody, uh, an enemy, an opposite name. So, oh, you're acting like a Gentile, or you're acting like, you know, the Jews. And it really was something that would kind of drive people insane because they were so divided as a people. And it's not like Paul, in any sense, to embrace conflict, right? Of course. When has Paul ever done that? Wrong. Of course, Paul always jumps right in on any sort of division and just gets right after it, as we see in these specific verses. And he attacks the division head-on in verse 28. And in not so many words, he's basically saying, it doesn't matter who you are what you've done or where you've been, we are all one in Christ. You know, as we mentioned, the verse of the day, it says neither Jew nor Gentile nor slave or free, nor is there male or female, for all are one in Christ Jesus. Uh, The footnote in the Bible that I've got is very fascinating to me. Uh, It talks about unity in Christ transcends ethic, social, and sexual distinctions. And there's a couple of cross-reference verses that I want to point out here also this morning. You look at Romans ten twelve and the summary of that verse, there's no difference between Jews and Gentiles. First Corinthians twelve thirteen. All are baptized by one spirit, all are given one spirit to drink. Once again, doesn't matter if you're Jew, doesn't matter if you're Gentile, doesn't matter if you're slave or free, we are all one in our Lord and Savior Christ Jesus. Now, let's talk about division for a second. And I'm not talking about mathematics here. Let's talk about Division in our world, in our society. The divide between the Jews and the Gentiles, of course, is nothing like what's going on in our world today, right? We are all a happy, harmonious people. No one is having any problems. No one is getting into trouble or causing any sort of issue at all, right? Right, of course. If you you guessed what, 
that's that's not at all what's going on. We have become even more divided than even the Jews and the Gentiles were. And it's amazing because history continues to repeat itself, right? There's nothing new that has come from our society. Oh, we're so much more advanced. Think about it. If you, you throw a couple of pieces of technology to you know some of the ancient folks, it's pretty much a similar society. There's still that division. And what divides us as a society these days? Well, the big ones, of course, are politics, sports, religion, heck, even driving the wrong car, listening to the wrong music can start a fight these days, unfortunately. People love to be divided and love to be opinionated about any specific topic. Now, we as Christians must remove that mindset of divide and embrace unity in Jesus' name. So, I want to ask you, what divisions in your life need mending, and how will you find solutions to bring unity back into your life? Maybe you're struggling with you know, a division inside your family. Maybe you need to mend a division in your workplace. Whatever it might be, it's important to know that you're all under that same umbrella of being one in Christ. And for us specifically as Christians and believers, it is our job to show Christ's love to those that might not be believers because a very common phrase that is mentioned all the time, you might be the only Bible somebody ever reads. And it's very important to be able to show that there is that opportunity for unity because a lot of folks want that sense of belonging. They want to feel a part of something. And there's nothing greater or more special to belong to than being inside the family of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. So this week, as you go into the weekend, and you just look through your life in general, find your sense of belonging in Christ. Rally other brothers and sisters in Christ and make our world a little more unified each day in what Christ Jesus has to offer you. When we take the time to really pour into those folks around us, it can really make a huge difference in what we're doing in our daily lives. As Paul mentioned once again, it doesn't matter if you're a Jew or a Gentile, if you're a slave or free, if you're male or female, we're all unified in Christ. Christ doesn't see any of that. He sees who believes in him. He sees who follows him. And he loves each and every one of you the same. And we can embrace that and we can slowly and very carefully start to remove that divide from our lives and from our society each and every day. So the question is, are you going to step up? Are you going to help unify this world one person at a time? That's a challenge I have for you today. Have a great weekend, everybody. Thanks for listening.